Hi everyone, welcome to the CD Cave. I'm Jack Burial. Today I'm back with another video. Today I'll be doing uh, my favorite songs that are around 10 minutes or longer. Um, a lot of these songs didn't get as much airplay back in the day uh, on regular radio because of uh, the length of the songs. Um, but they're all great songs and um, they all managed to get heard somehow. Uh, through FM radio, things like that. And uh, so that, that tells a lot about how good those songs are. Uh, because usually songs that are, you know, well over six or seven minutes long, uh, they don't get played on the radio very much. They do on FM uh, a little bit, but um, not like the, the shorter songs. <clears throat> so uh, these are all great songs. Uh, I picked 10 that are, I find are pretty much my favorites. Uh, so that's what I'll be showing today. So I hope you stick around for the video. Um, forget if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, um, like, uh, leave a comment, like I said before. Uh, I really enjoy reading the comments. Um, so to get going in this video, uh, the first one that I picked could probably be no surprise to anybody, uh, which is uh, Thick as a Brick by Pink Floyd, part one. Uh, both parts are good, but uh, part one is better. Uh, great song. Uh, it was not the first time I heard Jethro Tull, but I remember the first time I heard this song. Uh, I was overwhelmed by it, especially being so long. It does a whole side of a, of a vinyl. Uh, yeah, great uh, song. And uh, see, I'm not sure exactly the time on this one. 22 minutes and 45 seconds, so it's pretty long. Uh, the next one is uh, Xanadu on the Feral to Kings album by Rush. Um, Another great song. Uh, Rush have quite a few I uh, could have picked from. Um, I decided to go with Xanadu because it's probably the one that uh, I've listened to the most. Uh, it's off my favorite Rush album. Uh, and this one here comes in at 11.08. Um, but uh, yeah, a great, uh, great song. Um, next, another really popular song. Uh, off Close to the Edge by Yes. You and I, one of their best songs, off one of their best albums. I think I've been showing this album quite a bit lately in my videos. Uh, but um, this one here comes in different parts. It clocks at 10.09, has Court of Life, Eclipse, uh, The Preacher, The Teacher, and uh, Apocalypse, 1972. Yeah, it's a long song. But uh, great song. The next one I cheated a little bit. Um, I picked a song for America by Kansas. And uh, I'm not sure why I cheated on this one. Is because the song, uh, Song for America, clocks in at 9 minutes and 59 seconds. So I was off by one second. But um, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, it's such a great song. I couldn't leave it off my list. That's one of my all-time favorite songs by the band. Yeah, so Song for America by Kansas. Next, I picked one from uh, Queen's Right from uh, Operation Mind Crime. I picked uh, Sweet Sister Mary. Great song. Of course, this being a concept album. Uh, clocks in at 10.47, but a uh, great song, great vocals on this. I couldn't keep this off my list either. Next, one of my favorite bands, of course, uh, The Magician's Birthday by Uriah Heep. This definitely makes my list for sure. Classic song, classic album. This clock's in at 10.23. A lot of songs just, just make it at 10 minutes, like a little bit over 10 minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, great, great song from 1972, The Magician's Birthday. Love the artwork by Roger Dean. There's a lot of the yes ones. Next, great German prog band, Eloy with Ocean, with the songs Poseidon's Creation. Which I do believe clocks in at over 11 minutes. Check the time. 
1142. It's a great song. There's only four songs on this album. But, um, yeah, if you're not familiar with Eloy, I've mentioned before in my videos, do go check them out. A uh, great band. They've been around since the 70s. Uh, they have uh, quite a big catalog. Um, great song. Next, another one of my favorite bands, Be Purple and Rock. And guess what song I picked off this? Yeah, Child in Time. Clock's in at 10.15. And if you want to hear some great vocals, uh, one of my favorite singers of all time, Ian Gillen. Uh, Child in Time is a song to check out. Uh, I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with it, but uh, well, what vocal range this guy has. And he still sings pretty good uh, at his age now. And uh, also heard uh, this morning, which... Uh, it's pretty happy about uh, Deep Purple announced that they're coming out with a new album uh, in July. Uh, so nice to get some new stuff by Deep Purple. Um, yeah, so in uh, in rock with uh, Child in Time. Next from Genesis, early Genesis, Sell England by the Pound. I picked the Battle of Epping Forest. Definitely one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song, with the Peter Gabriel area, uh, area era, sir. Um, this one here clocks clocks in at eleven forty four, but uh, great, great song. The Cinema Show too is a great song, but um, I don't know. I prefer the Battle of Epping Forest. I'm not sure why. I just I prefer it from nineteen seventy three. Great artwork too. And for the last pick of songs that are 10 minutes or over that I picked is another classic, but a classic band. Super Trap. I mean, I'm even, even in the quietest moments, I picked a Fool's Overture. Great song. This clock's in at 10.51. Uh, what made this song famous for me is... Uh, they used to play it as an intro for a, a local news station here uh, in the States, just across the border here. I think it was in uh, Plattsburgh. Uh, they used to use uh, that song as uh, an intro for their newscast. And um, that's how I got, I got uh, familiar with the song. Uh, yeah, so from 1977. Yeah, great song. Fool's Overture by Super Trent. So that's my 10, uh, 10 of my favorites uh, songs that are 10 minutes in length or, or longer. In this case, one second shorter with uh, the Kansas one. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, it's hard to take up of ideas for videos sometimes, but uh, I try my best. And uh, so until next time, take care of yourselves.